Hi, my name is Christian Wallagrave, Head of Research at TK Tankers, and this is our tanker market update for October 2018. Well, in my last video, I talked about how rates in Q3, although they weren't great, they were showing some signs of promise and some volatility, which is unusual for the third quarter of the year, because Q3 is usually the weakest part of the year for tanker rates, um, and it was encouraging to us that we did see some resistance and some volatility during Q3, albeit the rates were still fairly weak. And we talked about how we were optimistic for the fourth quarter market uh, going into the winter. Well, now we've moved into Q4, into early October, and we are starting to see that the freight markets are beginning to move. In fact, just in the past week or two, we've seen VLTC spot rates go above $30,000 per day for the first time in 18 months. And uh, just in the last couple of days, we've seen the Suez Max market break above $20,000 per day. And the Aframax is coming up to $15,000 to $20,000 per day as well. So that's really encouraging that we're starting to get this uh, Q4 volatility uh, and it's the kind of volatility that we haven't seen for 12 to 18 months. And what's driving this rate volatility, it's really starting with the, the big ships, the VLCCs. And what we've seen in the last few months is an increase in OPEC production and Russian oil production. In fact, if you look at Russia plus OPEC taken together, they've added uh, just short of a million barrels per day since April. Uh, and that's despite lower production from Iran and Venezuela. So countries like Russia, Saudi Arabia, uh, other parts of the Middle East, they've really stepped up and added production. Uh, and that's added to demand for VLCCs out of the Middle East. We've also seen in the last month or two some really strong demand uh, from Asia for West African barrels. So we've seen a big pull of West African crude going long haul to Asia as well. And we've also seen continued high exports out of the US Gulf. Uh, and a lot of that's still going long haul to Asia as well. Uh, we've seen an increase in imports into places like Japan and Korea. So for the VLCC market, the VLCCs are really getting stretched between those three, three load points, between the Middle East, West Africa and the US Gulf. Uh, and that stretching out of the fleet is what's causing this volatility uh, and the strength on the VLCC market, which is then pulling up the Suez maxes as well. Um, so when we look at the rest of Q4, we think that this is the start of what's going to be a fairly positive uh, fourth quarter and winter mar uh, market for tankers. Uh, if we look at our expectations for the rest of the quarter, we do see that refinery throughput is due to go up by about 3 million barrels per day between October and December. So there's going to be a large uh, requirement for, for crude oil imports. Uh, and even though the, the US sanctions on Iran come into force next month, we do think that there's enough spare capacity in the rest of OPEC and in Russia to be able to offset any decrease in Iranian exports uh, and meet that higher demand for the winter months. So when you add on top of that the normal seasonality and the, and the weather delays that we typically expect in Q4, we do believe that this volatility we're seeing at the start of October is hopefully indicative of a stronger fourth quarter uh, and winter market uh, for tankers. Uh, and as I said, it is encouraging that we're seeing rates now touching 18-month highs. So it's really a positive development and sets us up well for the winter market. Looking further ahead to 2019, we haven't really changed our view. We do expect uh, a further tightening of the tanker market next year. Fleet growth remains relatively low next year. It'll probably be a little bit higher than it has been in 2018, just because we don't think scrapping will be as high next year. But nevertheless, fleet growth across the tanker fleet should be around 3% next year, which is still well below the long-term average. And at the same time, we do expect oil demand to continue to grow next year and we expect a lot more oil supply to come online. Some of it, as I've just said, from OPEC, but also we'll get a lot more non-OPEC supply next year, particularly from the United States. And a lot of that will translate into seaborne exports from the second half of the year, which is when the US is building out a lot of new pipeline infrastructure to bring crude from the Permian Basin to the, the Gulf Coast. And so US crude exports, which at the moment are averaging about two and a half million barrels a day, some weeks as high as three million barrels a day, by the end of next year, we think that will be as high as 4 million barrels a day. So that's going to be, again, very good for tanker ton mile demand and also good for Aframax lightering in the US Gulf. We also think that the IMO 2020 rules due to come into force in January 2020 will be another catalyst for tanker market demand because refineries will have to increase their throughput in order to produce enough low sulfur fuel. And we think there will also be some uh, changes to trade patterns associated with that and possibly some uh, requirement for floating storage both on the clean and the crude side as well. So we do have a very positive outlook for 2019.
there will be dark clouds on the horizon as um, the global economy does seem to be softening just a touch. Uh, we saw just last week that the IMF lowered their forecast for global GDP growth next year. Uh, and we also see that uh, you know, with the US-China trade war still continuing and some currency weakness in emerging markets, we could see some downside risk to global oil demand growth next year. Um, so that's definitely something to monitor. But for the moment, we still think those other factors that I, that I mentioned, the low fleet growth, the increase in exports, the IMO 2020, will still mean that we'll see a tightening market uh, in 2019 and into 2020 as well. So that's our update on the tanker market and we'll speak to you again next month.